Hey, Woody. Yeah? You gonna be all right? You know me. <laughs> well, you always get the same fucking cab driver. It's never anyone else. It's always the same guy. Like, is he the, the, the cab driver for Fables? I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. And you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff did... Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Dude, I will punch you in the fucking face. <laughs> Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought nothing you were going good. To come back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pawn, but he told me that the Crooked Man's door. Wherever it is, he hangs his hat. It moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able to find the door once it's fixed? Crane used it. That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have it's a same fucking room. Unbelievable. Oh yeah. Take a number. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Oh, uh, Bloody Mary handled it for a bit. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. It helps that I have a good working relationship with the mirror. And I don't mind speaking in rhyme. So, can you think of anything? Found it in Crane's coat. The last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had. Ah, some... uh, yes. Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing. That's all. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Fable Town. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office out back? Toad, why are you here? This is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not Do you want help or not, Jackass? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff. But I've taken a real wallet because... Yeah, the glamour. And you can't deny that. I'm starting to think you don't take me seriously, Toad. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? 
Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in Fable Town. For a friend, the rules will bend. Colin isn't your concern. You should worry about your own fucking situation, Toad. Fucking bastard. Hey, watch it. Oh, no, no, it came out wrong. If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just wanna stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest to watch. Please, Sheriff. Don't take TJ from the only home he knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. You know it's not right. Burdening the weakest of us like this. This world isn't kind to those of us who can't pass for you. Alright, alright. I'll do what I can, buddy. I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but you have to understand. It's not entirely up to me. Oh, thank you, Sherry. I knew I could count on you to make me whole again. We get it sorted and I'll be glamour to the nines, I will. I know there's an option you can do where you can just give Toad the money that you have, but I guess it's only if you don't. Bluebeard, you wanna talk? Now's your chance. Only if you don't, I guess, pay Nerissa? This office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Yeah, not yet at least. Did he take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Look, he's not you gonna be a problem, well don't it. worry. Toad won't be a problem. I'll see to that. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> Fine, we'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. He wouldn't do it. They get so his hands dirty. What would make a person? Not the kind of person he is. What could those girls have done? If there's one thing I figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop. The magic he peddles. Chains. Ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff! Miss White! We knew what the situation was. The he, they, uh, they had blackmail on Crane. I have to say I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry. I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror. We're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep Crane. Yeah, I want to know too. Yeah, I want to see where he's ended up too. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. All right, hang up the call. Hang up the call. She knows. <laughs> just happened we pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at bloody mary's reflection oh her that explains the sting i'd rather not have to feel the pain she yeah, wasn't on purpose <laughs> so let's not do that again okay looks like we'll have to track him down later you're right we need to focus on the immediate threat and that's the crooked man bigby we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? Here, let me do it. Mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So, where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. Okay, well that one said Central Park, so we know where it is now. What I tell you? Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense 
Oh, well, forget justice. to try. I want answers. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. But we have to make a commitment to working within the law. I'll catch him and bring him back here, alive, and we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Well, we made it. We're not gonna be nice about it. We're just gonna keep the door open. Okay, well that's how you get in. How do you get out? Sheriff, I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way. Just smack hand away. I'm leaving off tiny. Tiny Tim. You'd think I'd have outgrown that centuries ago. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social. Nope, break, sure ain't. So thanks for not giving me a hard time. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. All right, all right. Please don't make this hard on me. I don't want to get in trouble. Will you just follow me? Fine, lead on. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. I was a little surprised myself. You're less a guard and more like a butler. It. I thought it was a joke, actually. I get it. You have a job to do. But you got to ask yourself if you want to be involved with this guy. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to oh, get Oh, yeah, that's just how it is. If you're here, it can't be good. So I hope you two can come to an understanding. I can find the door myself. You should just get the hell out of here. It's gonna get ugly in a minute. Leave. I told you, I have to do this. Hey, you've been warned. Stick around, and you're a part of this, just like anyone else. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Hold on. Fine, fine. Thanks. Am I some kind of a fucking joke for you? What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Mate. You first. Go ahead. Your job. Got a job to do. The wolf I got. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Talking all that good shit, huh? Now I'm here. Sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you might want to leave now, buddy. You see, 
Everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. All right. I'll play your game. And then I'll, I'll break your fucking neck. <laughs> All right. You got me here. Let's talk. Oh, and that's how the chapter ends. Next up, we get one more. Next time on. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. A weird pre trailer, but okay. Uh, you and 85 did not send Colin to the farm. You and 63 did not try to remove the ribbon. Cause that, why would we do that? That's stupid. You and 63 went to the cut above. You and 73 decided Toad should not go. You and 41 agreed to talk with him first. Alright. Well, guys, that's going to be it for chapter 4, or episode 4. Uh, as I mentioned earlier at the beginning of the session, um, I'm going to try and record the final episode tomorrow. Uh, or I guess later tonight, to be honest, considering it's already Monday. But it really depends on how I'm feeling later on, after, uh, after I get all my shit taken care of. But, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the session. I hope you guys are ready to go with me into the final chapter. And, yeah. Um, I'll be getting it up as soon as I can. But until then, it's currently 3.51 in the morning. I need to go back to sleep and get, you know, a little bit more rest. Because I've had a very, I've had a hell of a week so far, guys. A hell of a week. But, um, I hope you guys are enjoying what I've been putting out. I hope you guys stick around with me for what I have planned in the future. And just... I appreciate the support, or whatever support I get, and as always, I hope you guys have a great day, have a great night, get plenty of sleep, unlike me, get plenty to eat, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in our next session, or our final session, uh, bye bye.